guys, it's Vicky. Welcome back to my channel, Vicky X Bell. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up because today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this Dior rhinestone shirt, tank top, and keep watching. So first I got this tank top from my closet that I already had and then I got the rhinestones from eBay. They're called Hot Fix Iron-On Rhinestones and they will iron on your shirt. I got a size 12 and they're smaller so I'll put the link in the description box below. The black stuff on the back of the gems is what will help stick the gems to the shirt once you put the iron onto it. They are super easy to work with so the first step is you want to outline or draw whatever design it is that you want to be rhinestoning so that you have a layout. You don't have to do this and after a while you know where they go so then making similar designs or the exact same design gets easier. Next I line up the middle of my shirt so I want this to be equal from both sides you know perfectly in the middle perfectly centered because you know it has to be perfect a little OCD but it's okay. So once I have my outline then I start putting the rhinestones on top. I either do this with like the bottom of a pencil like the bottom, the eraser, I even do this with my nails and just my fingers. My trick is I get smaller rhinestones because I feel like I can make different fonts with different words or different pictures easier. Another trick is after a couple letters then you can iron it on as long as you know it's perfect and ready to go because that way it's going to stay on and the other ones aren't going to mess up. Also just in case if you bump it it's not going to move because you already ironed them on. So the way you need to iron these rhinestones on is you can take the same shirt and fold it over and put it on top and then put the iron on top. Or you could take a different fabric, but I just like to use the same shirt just because it's easy. Wherever your design is, you need to figure out and put the iron on top for like a minute or two, depending how big your rhinestones are. I feel like the smaller your rhinestones, like only a minute or like a minute and a half. But if you have bigger rhinestones, I suggest like two minutes. Also, make sure you're ironing on a flat surface and somewhere that won't burn. So once I iron these on, you guys can see that these rhinestones are not going to move. They are literally in that shirt, on that shirt. They're not going to move and they're so shiny, so sparkly. I also like to put the iron on the inside. So like on the back side of where the rhinestones are being ironed on just so they stay in place. So this is the final product once all the rhinestones are ironed on and they will stick and last through the washing machine they are good to go. They're ironed on just like a normal graphic and they're going to stick pretty well. In this clip, I'm showing you guys like I'm messing with them. I'm like pulling them, twisting them, everything, and they're not moving. Shop my Depop, Vicky X Bell, if you guys want to buy rhinestone shirts from me because I make similar ones for sale. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell to get my post notifications so you know when I post a new video. And love you guys. Bye.